Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. The hottest sports show on the planet. You know who we are. If you don't, I got to bring into you girl power first. We got to meet Grace. You understand who it is. Grace oh, Sanders. Girl power, girl power, girl power. Girl power. We're going to talk about Wendy Young in a little bit. But girl power, Grace in the building. Grace, is you bringing the heat today? Well, you know what, man? This is it's, it's been a week, okay? It's, it's been a week. It's, it's been, been a week. A week. I'm I'm We've been wanting to do the show all week. Yeah. Well, then we got the very smart coach. You understand? The, the, the only reason we can even call ourselves a sports show, he the only one qualified. You understand? You know, he, he, he we, we qualify because we got opinions. He's qualified because he got degrees in it. You understand? Yes, yes. We have a special guest. We'll bring her up right now. Back again for a second episode. Miss Hancock. Ebony. How you doing, Ebony? You doing all right? Yeah. She's got a whole lot to say, y'all. Uh, in particular, but we'll, we'll come back to that here in a little bit. But I have to tell you, it's a it's a heck of a show we got designed for y'all. It really is. It really is. We know we work real hard at this. I'm not sure if y'all know that. Cleverly clowning sports show. Man, it's going down. Has no other choice. Has no other choice. All right. And as usual, now I won't say as usual, but it seems to be a custom here lately, y'all. It seems to be a custom here lately. But for sure, we have started off our shows with women's sports each time. It's hot right now. It's hot right now. It's it's hot. It's mm-hmm. hot right now. And so we must first bring up the NBA or the WNBA draft. We got to bring it up. Why, why res- that picture? Why that picture? No, you, this is this is she is the number one draft pick pick. That is her job to be to be shown. She's got the throwback LeBron James 2003 uh, white suit on number one draft pick Caitlin Clark. And number seven is Angel Reese. I don't really care about nobody else but Angel Reese, but that's, you know, I would just go ahead and be quiet about that and let y'all talk. Before we get to what Ebony wants to talk about, and she does. In fact, you know what, Ebony, go ahead and tell her what you want to talk about, and then we'll... Clark fumbled the bag. $5 million, three seats into Ice Cube, or three hundred and thirty-eight thousand and fifty-six dollars for four seasons in the WNBA? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't uh, make any sense. And she fumbled. She left money on the table. We're gonna come back to it, but she's talking about this here, y'all. We're gonna yes, come back to it. Yes, three hundred thirty-eight fifty-six dollars. We're gonna come back to it. We're gonna come back to it. We're gonna come back to it. This is the you know the cleverly clown. It's a wonderful. All. I was like, how did you not get all that money? All well, that money. <laughs> she probably she probably not playing for the money or whatever she wants to say, but play for the money. <laughs> I mean, you can get her, more money over here. Do not. I, I'm gonna just shut up. Her, her 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 nil deals are are lucrative enough. Her endorsement deal. She she will be okay. She would not be eating noodles tomorrow. She would be okay. But we will come back to it in two segments from now, Coach. But since we brought it up, go ahead and just give just give a little bit of some facts or opinion right there. I think she won't be missing any money. I mean, she's going to make all that money and probably more than WNBA with endorsements and off the court. So on the court, she's not making much money, but off the court, she's going to make a ton of money. Uh Oh, you're muted, sir. We will come back to that. Thank you, Grace. We will come back to that. But Grace, we, we, we have to. Go ahead and get in that girl power just real quick, and then okay. and we, we, we will cover it in, in a few segments. Now, I am excited, as always. You know, I, I'm excited now to go back to watching the WNBA because after my Houston comments was just like, we, they, they are no more. I was like, I'm not watching it anymore because it's going to be boring. But now, <laughs> you know, these women that have, that are these young women who are coming in now and have been tearing up college basketball who are now entering the WNBA is going to make it, a, you know, 
very entertaining. Not saying the WNBA wasn't entertained before. Shout out to all of the ladies who paved the way up and you know up to now for these young ladies to come in and do what they do. Um, but I will always have a problem with the WNBA until they start paying these women like they pay the men, because that makes no sense. Okay. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back and comment on that. I'm, but, I'm not saying the yes. NBA has anything to do. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if the NBA has anything, any ties to the WNBA, but I'm like, are you serious? Five figures a year for the year? Seven, I, can you put that? Put, they, find the, they find the men like $100,000 for. Listen, $76,535. I can go get that on a regular job. What are you doing? These women are professional athletes, whereas somebody who was the number one, who was the number one draft pick uh, in the NBA last season, Wimby, right? Wimby, yeah. Pretty sure he's getting way more than seventy six thousand five hundred thirty five dollars. Fifty five million in four years. Fifty five million, and you want to get this woman seventy six thousand five hundred thirty five dollars for I'm, the year? Okay, so that is disrespectful. I am going to come back to that. I'm clearly the businessman of the show. You clearly, can't give, you can't give him at least six figures. You can't well, give at least six figures. That's correct. Okay. We, 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 we going to come back to it. We're going to come back to it. Let's firstly, let's firstly, because I don't know if y'all heard that heat coming off of Grace. You know, that was that heat. <laughs> I felt it. Yeah, that was that. that, that and it's, is it justifiable heat? Is it right? Well, we'll, 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 we'll talk. We'll talk about it in a second, but let's let's first get to the draft. Let's do that first. Let's firstly, first, kindly, kindly, you can say WNBA was not entertaining, entertaining for all these years because it did not entertain to the mass appeal of the audience. So you can say it was not entertaining. It could have been entertaining to a few people, but it was not entertaining until this year. That's just one of those things okay like pickleball is not entertaining <laughs> until until we play until it until somebody really, yeah. yeah until i'm driving down the street and somebody go time out car and they playing pickleball it's not <laughs> it's, you, you understand all right, all right. It's, it's not entertaining until you know i'm messing up somebody game on 33rd and broadway okay something like that real streets. Yeah, real streets real streets real streets <laughs> it's real streets these is real streets i got so much to say about that but i won't just do it just yet how do i feel about the draft now i, I well, let me be quiet how do i feel about okay. the draft first of all did you watch the draft let's start well, camilla i watched it online like i saw where they went camilla and Angel went to the same team, um, Chicago I was Sky. Happy about that. I was happy about that. I wish Angel Angel should have gone higher, but that's just me. Keep going. I have no problem with none none of these things here. I have no problem with none of these things here. This is where we missing Reggie, so he can say something stupid right around here. This is where we missing him. <laughs> yeah. I, I obviously well, have no problem with that. My dad said he was like, uh, he's on team ready. Um, he wants them to lower the rim as well. And I was like, what in the world is this with him then? He was like, y'all should bring back the lingerie. <laughs> because that'll, that'll get the men watching it. I was just like, wow, that's, that's very interesting. I'm going to come back to that. I don't <laughs> think, I don't think the problem with the WNBA is men are not watching it. I think you women can do it on your own without men watching it. But, you know, don't mind me for being egalitarian and thinking women can do what women can do. Yeah, don't mind me for thinking y'all don't need men to be superior. Excuse me, though. Excuse me, though. You know, excuse me. I don't think men watching the WNBA is a problem. Will you make more money? Sure. But... You know, I mean, let's face it. It's a bunch of old white men watching golf. Golf doing just fine. Golf's doing just fine. They're not. They're not trying to find a woman audience. Right. All right then. So let's let's let's. Okay. Anyway, I, I think Angel Reese is too low, but it doesn't matter because her and old girl went to Chicago. That's going to be a yeah, bad. Camilla. team. Yes. Oh, I'm going to be. I'm definitely going to be watching that. Yeah. That's going to be a bad team. Now she said, Camilla, say, ain't nobody getting no rebounds. Listen. 
You saying nobody getting no rebounds. But what I would like to point out is I watched the WNBA draft. I have never, ever, ever watched the WNBA draft. Me either. This was the first year. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a WNBA draft. I just thought they said, hey, you come play you. I just thought they pointed. It was like, well, who you got? All right, I'm, I'm, let's shoot Let's shoot for captains or something. I don't know what they did. But it was like 21 or something. Coach, what you got to say about this, man? I enjoyed the draft. I mean, I watched all three rounds. Um, I like how they had the storylines with each pick. Um, I thought some teams did better than others. I thought the Sparks um, did a, had a great draft, and I thought the Sky had a great draft as well. You know, getting the two post players um, from LS, LSU and um, South Carolina, and then they added a six foot shooter. So um, it was entertaining. I thought you know the ladies dressed nice. Uh, they had yeah. the stories. Yeah. Um, I just enjoyed watching the draft. Yeah, they show enough. Show they they show enough and showed out. You hear me? And, and and you know what I'm excited about the most about the ladies and how they dress. I didn't see any hate. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was somebody in some comments, but I stay away from social media comments. I didn't see any hate about her dress to revealing this or this. No, you let the ladies dress right. up, and, yeah. and they showed Everyone out. Looked- they look beautiful. They showed, up. they showed up. They sure enough did. They sure enough did. They sure enough did. Well, I think that is, I think that's pretty cool. I, I think that's pretty cool. Shout out to the women. Now, Ebony, it's your turn. What? Okay, it's, it's your turn. This is what you, it's your turn, Ebony. Okay. Ice Cube offered. Okay. Ice Cube offered. Five million with an M to go to the big three. You hear me? Five million. But <laughs> right. well, you know, the show is well produced by a by good businessman somewhere. That's, a, that's, that's a playoff music. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a playoff that's music. It. That's music. It's playoff time, ain't it? It's playoff time, ain't it? Five million was offered. Ebony has a problem with this. Ebony, you can take as long as you want. I just I, I, I said it in the beginning. You did, but, but we're gonna let you we we in the segment now. We in the okay. segment now. Caitlin Clark just left a whole bunch of money on the table. He offered you five million and you like you said she has NIL deals or whatever. So she also has commercials. I don't know if they'll let her keep them. Maybe that was the thing, but oh, she's gonna be doing Campbell soup, soup Campbell, Vicks vapor rub. She she gonna be everywhere. Don't worry about it. I just I just thirty thousand, you know, three hundred and thirty eight thousand fifty six dollars. You got to take that over five million. So she can't mm-hmm. complain about um whatever she's getting from the WNBA at all. Considering not- she has not complained. He has not complained. We're complaining. Well, not we, but you're <laughs> complaining, but she has not complained. I just want to go on record and say that. Keep going. But, but, okay, stop picking me and me big. But, um, <laughs> what you think? It's TV, girl. I just, uh, she, she just left a lot of money on the table for me. Too much on the table. Okay, you can great. say she'll make it back in her other, in a, but, would have had that for being just being in the big three fair enough grace what say you well okay of course yes five million is a big jump from seventy six thousand five hundred thirty five dollars i'm gonna always be <laughs> that's a big jump that's a big jump she, she would be paying seventy five thousand in taxes <laughs> <laughs> that's how big of a jump it is okay all right um but okay i get that um i i do believe the wnba is is a good look for her and the endorsements are going to come out of the wazoo okay um it's just listen wait wait, wait. i saw (laughs) okay i saw the four you know the four amounts that she's getting every year (laughs) but from 2024 to 2025 that's not even that's that is under 
a two thousand dollar jump. This Are is, you kidding me right is, now? This is my daddy school. makes more than her. This is high school teacher salary. <laughs> that come listen, listen, okay. And I'm this is tenured high school teacher salary, okay? You have to uh oh get my bad. Yes. You gotta be that thirty years to get back. Yes. Are you what are they? I don't get it. Like Okay, we'll talk about the money in a little bit. You, you know what? Oh, okay, okay. Let, 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 let me get coach. Coach, because when we talk about the money, I'm I'm gonna have to but I'm sorry. Hold, hold on before coach yes, goes. Please, but yeah, please. I, I think it's she, WNBA is it's gonna be rocking and rolling. And like like we've been talking about with her endorsements and all this stuff, like the endorsements she hadn't got yet, but that are coming because she was the number one draft pick and all these types of things. She's already got some now, and then Gatorade and all these things, but more will be coming, and so she'll be straight. And I know I heard Ebony say, she probably not playing for the money. None of these people in the WNBA be putting got them playing for the money. They play for the love and the sport. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, oh my God. God. Nobody <laughs> money. God. Considering that, that taxes got to come out of all that. Taxes got to come out of that. Manager right. fees, team fees. So that seventy five thousand is really something like twenty six thousand. Well, hold on. What, 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 where did she go? What, what state did she go to? Indiana. Indiana. So Indiana has pretty decent taxes. So seventy five thousand, thirty percent tax. That would be fifty thousand, pretty much immediately. Plus two percent, one or two percent to a manager. So now we're somewhere down to forty five, forty thousand. Then you would just have regular fees and stuff like that. So we can reduce that to about $36,000 of what she would actually take home. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> and That's this what she is why now, I now she had a high school teacher salary. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm talking about, and, and they have, they have raised it. They have raised the salaries for first year teachers. Now they get more than that. It, wait, wait, wait. My question is, are the veterans getting more than what we just saw that, Caitlin Park will be getting. I really hope so. No. I mean, veterans don't normally get more than number one draft picks. That's where you spend your money at. The, you know, that's where you spend your money at. But you know, depending on what, what kind of who, who you're calling a veteran. If you call a LeBron James a veteran, so what Jason is Tatum Reese's, a veteran, that's different. But no, I'm talking about, no, 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 I'm talking about WNBA veteran. Number seven. She, she, she's about the same. I'll 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 I'll, I'll find it and pull it up. I'll, I'll find yeah, it. Yeah, I'm talking about the veterans in the WNBA. You know, what are they getting? They don't make like uh, I saw Brittany Griner was complaining that she only made like 90 something thousand. Well, I, I have a, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a major problem with all the complaints about women's pay, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it right now. Stones are being thrown at me, but, but it will make sense here in a second. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Coach Ron, go ahead. I, I look at it a couple of different ways. Um, money's probably not her biggest motivator. If so, she would have stayed in college because she'd have made more than five million just by staying in college. Um, and turning down the, the big three for the WNBA makes me think that she has something else in her bag that she's not really revealing. You know, um, sure. I just think that she probably has a good team around her. They're just not going to throw away five million dollars for no reason. Um, so they got something up their sleeves, probably to make money in other ways, probably more than the five million dollars. But like I said. I don't think money was our biggest motivator. Um, if so, she would have stayed in college, made more than five million. Fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, this, it's the, same, the same thing with Angel Reese. Angel was Re Angel Reese was getting a whole bunch with nil, you know, money. So. Oh yeah, she made know, millions. Okay. She, no, no, she made yeah. millions. Oh, they like, always getting millions, especially Caitlin Clark. No, 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 especially Caitlin Clark as well. So they was getting millions. All right. Let me make y'all angry. Wilt Chamberlain, Pistol Pete Maravich. <clears throat> What's the logo, man? Jerry West. Jerry West. Jerry West. Bill Russell. Dr. J. They were making $78,000. Now, we can say, well, that's you, you count for inflation, Antonio. I get it. I'm just trying to tell you that when a sport first begins it ain't no 55 million dollar contract i knew that's where you were going i knew that you have you have going. no choice you have no choice because if you say pay them like the men they need to have revenue like the men but when did the wnba start you no. have to like the wnba started with these kids these cats that just came in 
to 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 best knowledge, I mean, it started about twenty three years ago, something like twenty three years, and they still get seventy. Oh my god! So t- twenty three years ago, they were getting like thirty thousand. Long as you know that when I brought up the twenty three, when I brought up the W WNBA players in that era, that was fifty six, sixty, seventy five years in. The players that I was naming was fifty years in. Pistol Pete, Jerry West, that's fifty years in. That's, that's, remember when you were a kid, the NBA had the seventy-five uh, anniversary. No, it didn't have no. It, it wasn't seventy-five. They just just seventy-five. It was fifty. It was fifty. It was fifty when they had Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman and the, the top fifty, and David Robinson. That was fifty. Is what they showed us when we was kids. I'm not saying that the women don't deserve it. We're not talking about deserve. We're talking about revenue. We're talking about there are no jersey sales. You don't walk around. <laughs> seeing WNBA jerseys in the streets. I'm not saying you have not seen I, one. Okay, because I got a Comets jersey. Keep going. Go okay, ahead. you got a, you got a Comets jersey. Okay. And, and that's how I, my, everybody in their city is going, I got this jersey, I got this jersey. Remember, they, they have less than 20 teams. I, f- I forget how many people in the WNBA and many teams are in WNBA. Right now, the, the general manager, not the general manager, the, the, the Adam Silver, I forget what you call him. Commissioner. The, Adam, the commissioner. There you go. The commissioner just said that the, the WNBA will be expanding to 16 teams or something. It's a revenue problem. The, the and Every time y'all make the argument, pay them like the men, the men did not fast forward to $55 million a year. That's the assumption that's being made here. The assumption being made here is pay them like the men because the men have always been getting paid millions of dollars. And that's just not true. It's just not true. Michael Jordan made in his entire career three hundred and eighty million dollars. But Jason Tatum just signed that yesterday. Yesterday is a little facetious, but yesterday was, you know, like a couple months ago. Jana Brown signed before him. So it's a revenue problem. It's not a it's not a women problem. It's a revenue problem, which with all the hype is going to get fixed immediately. The Indiana, what is it, Spark? Indiana um, Fever. 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 The Indiana Fever. Fever had one national game last year. They got 36 out of 40 this year. National TV equals TV revenue, jersey sales, etc. So what's going to happen is, here's what's going to happen. You're going to see the, and I guarantee this is going to happen in five years. The women are going to turn on the women and be like, well, why y'all didn't pay us like y'all paying these new people coming in? Because this is exactly what we do. Because you're going to start getting million dollar deals coming in because of the revenue. I know people don't like facts. This is why I know stones shall be levied at me. I'm not saying women don't deserve it. That's not what I said. That was not my argument. I'm not even making an argument. I am presenting facts that Jerry West was not dropping 55 million. Not even Michael Jordan was getting 55 million a year. Remember, if you watch the last dance, Scottie Pippen nearly sabotaged the whole Bulls for a seven year, $170,000 deal or something like that. That's the truth. So they were signing people like Scottie Pippen, arguably top 30 ever to walk into the NBA. We know top 75 and we know top 50. We we're arguing when this man signed a deal for like 1.7 million over seven years. That was that was that was 20 years ago. <laughs> okay. That was I just need y'all to get 20 years ago, the men were signing hundred thousand dollar deals. Hell Brock Purdy for the NFL is on a five hundred and four thousand dollar deal for four years. That's terrible. That's what happens when you're Mr. Irrelevant. And that's why the 49ers are going all in. Because while we got him on this deal, we're going we gonna to try to take advantage of it. It's a revenue thing. When when folks start getting WNBA tattoos, which will happen, when when we when they start selling merch, 
when we start arguing who jersey is better, Kobe or when they start changing their uniforms up, like the, the New York Jets just changed their uniforms. And I was like, what the hell was the change? This just still looked the same. But when they start changing their uniforms, that's when you know revenue is coming in. And then we can have this argument. And Florida State changed their signal yeah, pad, and it, it it looked weird to me when they changed it. I like the, the original. Well, I will say the original, but it's not even the original because it's not the first. Head. The first head they've changed it several times. No, well, no, it's fair. But let me just let me just Grace come back in and clean it up so the women <clears throat> don't 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 stigmatize. Or well, not, <laughs> it's not gonna be women or whoever. But I'm not saying I, women don't deserve it. That's not. Yeah, what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. I'm saying you're asking me to pay more money when we ain't where I'm getting it from. You want me going? You want to join yeah, the only yeah, fans? I get what you're saying there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> so I want to put I, the it's, yeah. yeah. We can put WA Bay on only fans. Yeah, I get All out right. there with your feet and your your abs, and you we we get the money. Yeah, you made it make sense because <laughs> when you said the revenue is not there, okay, it's now not there. I get it. Yeah, it's not there. No, what I want to know is, is right that okay. So now that what he's saying is it makes sense now. Now that the women are getting a lot more attention, it's gonna be, it's gonna more people this are going to go to games, which means tickets are going to go higher, and yep. people are going to pay for them, and then people are going to start getting jerseys. And all this, all this stuff he's saying. So one, that's where the revenue is going to come from. So then, it's it's already yeah. happened. The, the women's final four last year was something like twenty four dollars to get in. This year was six hundred and fifty two. And I heard it was like in a thousand. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, come yeah. On. That was a minimum ticket. Yeah, <clears throat> it's already happening. You women are already winning, <clears throat> unless you. And, and, and it's offensive for me to say when well, you start only fans, women. I'm not saying women start only fans. I'm just saying when you don't have no money, <laughs> you got to come from somewhere. And unless you're trying to do the fireman calendar, you know, it, 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 even the fire department got to got to do <laughs> only fans. They got to do it. They probably know. got something in their contract that that says like no. No, I'm only pretty fans. sure. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, I have no idea what's in their contract. I just know that these women are professionals, top of the world, not just top of the world, top of humanity. They are in less than 1% of the most gifted human beings to ever walk the planet of all mankind. So when you are that genetically, superiorly, brilliantly, mentally gifted, you're probably not going to start an OnlyFans. (laughs) <laughs> let's let's keep it real all right so i'm all for the women i just said that all WMA players are better than than every human being to ever walk the earth as, as since mankind started so i clearly have nothing but high praise i'm also a businessman and i can't pull water out of a desert that's all i'm saying <clears throat> coach Make it make sense because you know I be saying stuff and 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 I don't always make no sense. I agree with you. It's all about the money. You know these contracts are getting larger and larger each year um, in the men's game, and I think the same thing will happen in the women's. I think the love of the game, the popularity of the game, is going to force the decision makers to pay these people. You know, so I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Um, I know the probably the, the older uh, ladies that didn't get that pay. Um, they should look at it. They're the foundation. They had to lay down that foundation for the future, you know, so even though they might not see the money right up front, but without their hard work, these ladies wouldn't be in a position to, you know, get the money they're getting now. And plus it's going to continue to grow. Yeah. Yeah. It's for sure going to continue to grow. It's already growing. And, and, and shout out to them. I'm telling you, y'all are about to see huge, and you know, when the WNBA is getting their respect, when practice facilities start getting their respect, because that, that's the real problem that I see with the WNBA. <clears throat> Y'all practice in Gold's Gym and, and uh, you know, 24-hour fitness. That, that's when, you, you know, it, real talk, or, you, or you, you, take, you, you take a bus from L.A. to New York. That, that's a problem. Now, in fairness, because of the revenue, you got to save money somewhere. 
women of y'all finna start flying first class private jet it's about to happen and you're going to get every single thing that you deserve somebody just has to be trailblazers somebody yeah. has to do it in the first 25 years yeah. just well, remember it when we were kids, they did the top 50 NBA players. Michael Jordan was up there, all that stuff. And those guys were still making $100,000 million or something like that. It wasn't. If it, if my, if you remove Michael Jordan, it wouldn't even be no money in, in the NBA. If you remove if you remove Michael Jordan, it wouldn't be no money in the NBA. He saved the NBA's revenue. He really did. He really did save the NBA's revenue. And because of that. You, you you have what you have today. So you have what you have today. All right, let's switch segments real quick because we, we now we need to go to we need to go to Grace and Coach. Okay. This is who we need to go to. We need to go to Grace and Coach because these are the two smart ones. Grace and Coach. Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Yes. We're ready. They they the two smart ones. And I'll I'll we'll make it make sense. Let's get the music queued up. We need to talk about dynasties for a second. Listen, oh my goodness. We... But I need you two to define what a dynasty is. Because last night. I, oh I, I, we, we go get there. We, I, I, it's, it's, it's clearly a good segue. It's it's clearly, it's, if, if y'all didn't hear her, we going to get there. It's clearly a good segue. Oh, man. Ooh. But for now, let's just hold what we got. Can y'all define dynasties for us? Both of you. Championships with an S. With an S. <laughs> with an S. Okay, go to okay. Let's get uh, some good Jordan detail. Pippen, Jordan Pippen Rodman. Okay. Dynasty. Okay. Jordan Pippen. Name somebody else in that, in that spot before Rodman got there. Dynasty. Okay. The Bulls was a dynasty. The, the Bulls dynasty. was definitely one of the greatest dynasties ever. So since you're doing it, I'm going to have y'all name the top five dynasties then in basketball. But not, not, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, because I know you like you like me getting stuff in order. I'm gonna go with the Chicago Bulls because that was a score. I, 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 want, I want them ranked. I want a okay. one, two, one, three. One, there you go. One, yeah, take number some number risk. One, I'm gonna go with the Chicago Bulls. Okay. Chicago, Chicago Bulls. Bulls. Okay. They would two, be my number three. Uh, two. I'm gonna say the Boston Celtics. That would okay. be my number one. Okay, I thought about that, but I, I, I'm, I'm biased. I'm biased because I love the game. Okay, so, yeah. so got okay. Bulls, the Boston Celtics, the LA Lakers. I'm talking about back then, the LA Lakers. Fair <laughs> enough. Magic, that magic would be my number two. <laughs> magic Nim. That would okay. be my number two. Golden State. Considering Golden Magic State. and Bird played the entire yes decade in the championships. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yes. <clears throat> Definitely got to put Golden State in there as number four. What well, you put Golden? Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Golden State should Golden State should be in there. I give it to you. Um, I almost had a disagreement with that, but I should, they, they they should be in there. They should. Uh, Who was number three? You said you said Bulls okay, number Chicago, one. Chicago. Okay. Boston. Boston number LA two. Lakers. LA Lakers LA number Lakers. three. The Warriors number four. Warriors number four. And forgive me, but I don't know. I'm, I'm leaving fifth? somebody out, and I, and I just, I just my, don't know. My fifth would be a sleeper dynasty. That that is so. So we, we all we all gonna do it. Okay, all right, coach. My, well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. My, fifth, well, my fifth dynasty. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. We can call my, my fifth dynasty. dynasty. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. My fifth dynasty is anybody LeBron who's won a championship with LeBron. That's the fifth dynasty. LeBron. Okay, so so, Le, so LeBron, LeBron is the fifth. LeBron dynasty. is the fifth. Okay, dynasty. not the teams, but LeBron. Not the team. But That's LeBron. a fair argument, actually. I have not heard that argument before. That's a as a as a as the resident bronze sexual of the of the the, the sports show. I am absolutely a bronze sexual. You know, may he brawn all over my face. I am absolutely a bronze sexual. <laughs> absolutely. But Ew. without being a bronze sexual, ten finals runners in a row. Blah blah blah. That's, that's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. I would I wouldn't say it, but it's a fair argument. All right, coach. Who's your fight? I think a dynasty. You got to win championships. You got I mean, championships. without winning championships, you're not a dynasty. But I'll go Lakers number one. Okay. Uh, Boston number two. Okay. The Bulls number three. Okay. Golden State four. Okay. And I got to put the Pistons number five. 
Okay, pistons. Okay, okay. okay. I can deal with pistons. Pistons don't make my list. I can deal with the pistons. I can deal with the pistons. Pistons don't make my list. Okay, that's pretty good. That, that's, How many that's, championships did they win? Because they were they were bad back in the day. They, they kept they kept they ran the eighties. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah, they did, okay. they did so good. good. We pretend Michael Jordan never lost right. against them. He, okay, <laughs> he got spanked by the Pistons. The whole eighties. Like he the always the got 90s. spanked by the Warriors. Right. Always. Right. He, he, he didn't yeah. win to the nineties. He didn't win to the nineties. He had a. We always say his. He had an unblemished finals run. Yeah, you call it finals run, not a playoff run. Not a playoff run. That's a big difference, but I'll let you Jordan sexuals make it. I'll let you all make it. All right, my number one would be Boston Celtics. You, can, I mean, it's just like 17 championships in a row or something, whatever. You, you can't. Number two mm-hmm. would be the Los Angeles Lakers. There's no doubt about it. Number three would be, I'm sorry, number two. I, I said Celtics first, right? I did yeah. Celtics. Celtics, Lakers. Then I will put Bulls. Then I will put Golden State. And I will put the Spurs. Wow. And I will put the Spurs. <laughs> the most boring dynasty. I, I, mean, I, I just knows. I just don't like this disrespect that the Miami Heat is getting. They won three championships and you just for, forgot about them. No, I no, love no, the Miami Heat. Hey, you, 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 okay, so y'all, for the, for, uh, hold on. Let, let, let me, let me. Say it again how we disrespecting your Miami Heat. <laughs> you are. They won three, three count them championships, and that's the lowest amount you need to be a dynasty. Fair and enough. If you're calling, if you want to say they won three championships and you're building that dynasty around Dwayne Wade, that's fine. I'll give you that. Uh, technically, you, you earn that right. <laughs> and I would right. put them a lot higher than y'all. Y'all didn't even put them on your list. No, no, nobody put them on their list. And I just you, you think that you think the Miami Miami Heat is a top five dynasty, <laughs> dynasty, kings. That yes. <laughs> you're definitely okay. You're definitely the way way fed. That's for sure. That's the that's not the reason we don't call it a dynasty because the first championship was Dwayne Wade. That was a declining shack. That was Dwayne Wade. Period. If you want to call it a dynasty, then you need to do like you need to do what Grace did and say, uh, Dwayne Wade. And like how she said LeBron James. Because the, <laughs> because the next two championships wasn't the same team. It was it wasn't the same team. No, you I mean you could put Pat Riley, Dwayne Wade, Dynasty. <laughs> no doubt about it. Pat Riley, Dwayne Wade, Dynasty. I'll give you that because that was that was three championships in what four years, five. That's a dynasty. That's absolutely a dynasty for sure. So I I, I shall concede to your argument, but Thanks. to put them over the Pistons or the Spurs. No, you know, no. We had cats named Manny Ginobili. <laughs> that don't even make no sense. <laughs> That uh, even make those no sense. Tony well, Parker. Tony Parker. Yes. Backboard Duncan. Uh, yes. <laughs> crazy. Right? It's crazy. But we've got to. Uh, we got to talk about it, child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's just the end of a dynasty? Oh, my goodness. I think so. I think so. Is this the last really time do. they played together? I really do. Okay. That's Is last it? night. I didn't watch the game last night. What is this music? Sad music for the dynasty, okay? The sad music for the dynasty. Let me let me tell you why. I, sh- I should probably... I mean, what a great dynasty. This whole, that's completely drafted dynasty. Completely homegrown, a complete drafted dynasty. That's incredible. It really is. It really is. Coach, we need some smart stuff here. Yeah. Is this the last that we've seen from them? I believe so. Um, I think Golden State's not going to play, pay, um, pay Thompson what he wants the salary um so i think so and i think steph's getting older 
you know, Draymond's getting older as well. They're going to have to bring in some new pieces, you know, to make them competitive, um, be able to compete in the West if they want to win championships again. But I just think financially, uh, Clay, you know, he's linked to other teams. He wants to get paid, missing out on, you know, um, you know, missing out on a couple of years. So he wants to get paid more money. Um, unless, you know, they, they all take a pay cut and they able to bring other stars in. I think it's the last time you're going to see these three play together. I mean, they did they did sign him to a max contract before he got hurt. And I thought that was love. And of course, you know, I mean, from a business business perspective, it was a terrible move. So Clay hasn't missed any money. They are scientifically, mathematically, business systematically the most expensive franchise to ever is not franchise dynasty to ever exist. They pay $77 million in luxury tax right now, which is totally boring conversation. It just means that we're going to tax you for doing so much for for being the New York Yankees. Okay, basically, we're going we're gonna to tax you for buying your dynasty. With, with $77 million luxury tax, you can't build a roster. Not the way. This is why they had to accept Chris Paul, right? This is why. And, and then they took some great risk because they, they draft well. They took some great risk with Kaminga and I forget the other guy that didn't work out. You know, it, it should have. Cool. I don't know. <clears throat> they redefined basketball. The whole dy- this whole dynasty redefined basketball as we know it today. It'll never, it'll it'll never really get, cool. It would never unstretch itself. The, the Golden no. State Warriors spread yeah. the court. The Golden State Warriors. She, they, no, she was saying pool. Jordan pool. Was that who Jordan you were talking Poole. about? No. Uh, Wiggins. At, no, no. Yeah, Wiggins and Kaminga. It didn't. It hasn't really worked the way it was supposed to work. You know, it hasn't really worked the way it was supposed to work. So seventy-seven million dollars. So what we want to do is we want to have a moment of somber, loud music for our friends. Just. <laughs> We do a little narration. Dear Clay, Steph, and Draymond, we miss you so much. We love you guys. I would hope that somebody takes the Russell Westbrook deal in the Los Angeles Clippers. That'll keep him. That will. (laughs) But Y'all gave us LeBron versus Steph. You gave us a 70, 73 win team. You gave us the Splash Brothers. Draymond Green is, if he's not the smartest man to ever play basketball, he's right under LeBron James and Rajon Rondo. We appreciate you. We tears tears for you guys I'm so sad and actually sad I feel like yeah. I'm gonna be sad when LeBron retired I'm gonna be sad yeah. and last night I was sad when they lost let me listen okay I I knew something I said when you said it was the dynasty over I said it in my head I was watching you know they have the the post game and that you know it was Chuck Ernie Shaq and Kenny and when Ernie said Clay went 0 for 10 yeah. and 0 for 6 from the 3, he I did. said, oh, my God, it's over. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it is over. He did. Oh, he, did. he went completely scoreless. Game scoreless. 6, Clay. I completely man. scoreless. And That's then the in the first half, they held Steph to 5 points. I said, wait a minute. I said, he's going to turn it on in the third quarter like he always does. He, he did. But, he did. He's finished yeah. like 22. <clears throat> decent yeah. game. But if you look yeah. at the stats, he was the only decent player. Well, Draymond Green's stats are always sneaky. Well, yeah. Him but and Draymond play points, well. But I know them rebounds, and the, you know, because he's a defense guy. So. He's not just a defense guy. The offense runs through Draymond Green. <laughs> it absolutely yeah. runs through Draymond Green. It doesn't run through Steph because Steph is running through people. Yes. <laughs> the, <laughs> the offense runs through Draymond Green. Coach, give us some help, man. And then when you finish this, I'm going to ask you a question for the young kids, too. Give us give us some insight here. 
Yeah, I mean, I think Golden State did a great job with a modern dynasty. You know, the way players, you know, switch teams all the time. It was easier back in the day to build a dynasty. You get drafted to that team and you stayed. And I think Golden State had, you know, their big three were drafted and stayed with them. Um, so I thought they did a great job in a modern day NBA. Um, but money talks. I mean, they all make too much money. Steph's not going anywhere. He's going to retire a warrior. Um, I think Clay's going to be the one who has to lead. You know, Draymond, like I said, the offense runs through Draymond. He's the facilitator. Um, but it's, it's sad to see, you know, people hate on you when you're great. You know, so the Warriors, they receive a lot of great, a lot of hate over the years, but they were winning. You know, so they provide a lot of entertainment, a lot of eyes to the, to the TV. Whether you love them or hate them, people watch them. Fair enough. Absolutely fair enough there. <clears throat> I wish I could say more, but I mean this not as a joke. I mean, it's in all sincerity. Thank y'all for everything you did. 100%. I mean, it's all sincerity. We don't get hate. One time for the hood. One time for the hood. One time for the hood. hood. It's difficult, man. It really is. It It really is difficult. It's a little sad. They said every year Kendrick Lamar has come out with an album. They have one. So it was like Kendrick Lamar kind of, kind of killed them because if he came out with an album, they would be playing still. It's Kendrick Lamar fault. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's Kendrick Lamar fault. See that? See that? It is his fault. It's his fault. It's, it's absolutely his fault. All right. <sighs> that was sad. That was sad. Well, we got no choice now. I must bring up that this man in his rookie year (laughs) has 86.6 more, I mean, more blocks than 86.6 players in NBA history. History. Put some spec on that man's name, man. Put some spec on that man's name. Coach, use a basketball coach. What you gotta say to this man? He's different. I mean, he's at his size, the way he can, his skill set. You know, you don't see that very often. Um, this is a perfect example of an overseas player versus an American player. You know, he's yeah. seven. I think seven four. He can dribble. He can shoot. He can block. He can do everything. Um, if he started his career in America, they would just force him to be down low. You know, so yeah. I see, that's the main difference I see. I mean, he's a European player, um, overseas player. Um, his height, his skill sets. I mean, that's why he's able to break, you know, these records. And he's just getting started, you know. So as long as he can stay healthy, I mean, he has an opportunity to be one of the greats. Yeah, for sure. He, he, he. he yeah, uh, so much, so much you said that I want to agree with, but I can't agree with it all at the same time. There's so much there. I like the fact that you brought out the European U.S. He would have just been down. Oh, I never thought about that. That was a great, very great example. There. Grace, what about you? I mean, Wimbiana is wow, is insane, He's different. I I see them. Uh, I forgot who was teaching him how to do the uh, a crossover. I was like, man, this guy is real tall, but he learned how to do it. <laughs> a crossover, he can shoot for the three. He does all these blocks. It's, he's a sham like, god. He got he got handles like Steph. He really does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, whoa. To be, I don't, I don't know. He's what is ins- his height? He's insanely flexible. Seven four. Yeah. Seven who? Seven four. Seven four. I thought whoa. it was seven one. Dang. Yeah, seven four. Seven four. <clears throat> can uh, he, he's the size of a living room door. <laughs> <laughs> to be a living room door that can break ankles, shoot for the three, and do all these blocks. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he is a unicorn. So, <laughs> and, and yeah, a unicorn alien. His logo is, is 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 his nickname. His it, it's it's wellly adapted. <clears throat> it's wow. wellly adapted for sure. That's crazy. It's wellly adapted for sure. I want to wow. I want to show one more thing. Well, bef- let me show. Let me get Coach and Grace to talk about this. I want y'all to look at his 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 stats real quick. I saw that they showed that, and I was like, "Whoa!" 
<laughs> of all the last 25 minutes? cents. It, he <laughs> didn't even play many minutes. They had him on minutes restrictions all season. Wow. How come? I, I don't know. Do all like that? Greg Popovich is a great coach, so he knows what he's doing. So I'm not I'm not gonna say nothing about it. You know, Pop is <laughs> Coach Pop is a good coach. Yeah. It clearly worked. <laughs> clearly. He, he know more behind the scenes. Wimbyam is insanely flexible. Yeah, if y'all know if y'all watch the Instagram videos, he can he does some crazy Achilles and all sorts of crazy stuff. Look at look, coach, come on in here, man. Say something about these stats. Because <clears throat> you and Grace are y'all are basketball crazies I, I think the minutes per game sticks out the most to me for this reason he was able to uh, accomplish first second and third with 88 minutes in it per game I mean that's incredible you know imagine if he were able to play more minutes um yeah. I think it's smart that they didn't play him that many minutes because there's not very many people in history with his body size and skill set so we don't know how recovery is for that guy most big men have a lot of uh Feet, feet issues, you know, so I think that you have yeah, keeping them healthy was smart. Um, but it just goes to show with more minutes, the guy's going to break, you know, more records over the years. Yeah, he is for sure. For sure. Grace. Right now, he's taller than Chet, isn't he? He's taller than Chet, but Chet is right there, though. And Chet played yeah. all 82 games this year. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, whoa. But yeah, like you said, Coach Pop, he, he know what he's doing. Great coach. So yeah, and like 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 Coach just said, to not play as many minutes as Chet Holmgren, and you know, as well as other players, and you still rank first, second, and third in those categories that you did. That boy is gonna be a beast when they let him play more minutes. <laughs> so oh, I'm sure that's gonna out. happen next year. <clears throat> I'm yeah. sure that's gonna happen next year for sure. I'm sure it is. What I like about him the most is he wants to play defense. He is not, he, he is, his, his, his thighs, his knees are parallel. Like he, his thighs be parallel. He be in a real deal defensive posture to where the, the basketball court and his thighs are at the same angle. <laughs> like for real, he be seriously, it's the only way to play defense. It's the only way, way to play real defense. And he on all of them. He could, he, and he could defend all five levels. And he wants to play defense. That's insane. It's absolutely insane how he his his legacy is set, and he wants to play defense. What what Wimbayama is is what we all wished Ben Simmons could have been as a guard. <laughs> we wished Ben Simmons would have did whatever Wimbyama is doing. So shout out there. Shout out there. Okay. All right. Well. <clears throat> did you hear about Blake Griffin retiring? I did hear about Blake. What a great topic you just brought up. Yeah. I did hear about Blake Griffin retiring. He is now. So the question is, the debate right now is, is he a Hall of Famer? That's yeah. the debate. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> Look, at Look at you. I actually agree. He's at a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Fame dunker, but I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I just, I keep my mouth shut. Grace, <laughs> Lob City. I ought to get some Lob City highlights right now and flash them on the screen and get y'all pumped up. Lob City. What you think, Grace, about Blake Griffin retiring? <clears throat> Lob, oh, the ice guy. Coach, what you think about Blake Griffin retiring? The Hall of Fame. He might go Hall of Fame. The way the way they pass now Hall of Fame these days, he might, but who knows? Yeah, I agree with you. You know, um, he's one of the best dunkers. You know, they were entertaining when they played. Um, like you said, where they're passing out, you know, Hall of Fame nominations like Candy, he might get in. But to me, I don't think he's a Hall of Fame type player. He's a good player, but not a Hall of Fame player. To me, a Hall of Fame player, you got to be the best at something for multiple years. And I don't think Duncan's going to get you in the Hall of Fame, you know, just being a dunker. But he was a good player. I'm not taking anything from him. Um, he was very entertaining, especially when he had Chris Paul and those guys and at the Clippers. But to me, he's not a Hall of Famer. 
This is a good argument. You know, Dominique Wilkins is definitely in the Hall of Fame for dunking, just not just dunking, though. But I mean, one of the, one of the greatest dunkers. In fact, if you ask me, he's probably the greatest dunker to ever walk in the NBA. And that's and that's not a bold statement. It may not be a true statement, but it ain't a bold statement. I didn't stretch this, and make a this, bold statement. This was better, but carry on. Who 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 was better? Vince Carter. That's a great argument. I, I even I even I would have to agree with that. <laughs> like that's a great argument. <laughs> Vince Carter. Dominique Wilkins, yeah, yeah. So you know what? I may, I may have to say Vince Carter's the greatest dunker to ever walk into the NBA. It's fair. It's one hundred percent fair. It's one hundred percent fair. So can't, can't, can't disagree with that, coach. Yeah, can't definitely. disagree with that at all. But he, Dominique did get robbed though when he, uh, when Jordan won that uh, dunk. Dominique should have won that one. He should have won that one. He should have won that one. I have this. I used to watch. This is great clip. I mean, this is great. It was. It's so eighties. Yeah, it was VHS. It was called Basketball Dunks. No, the Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. It's so. It's you can you can you can, you can YouTube. I would do it, but it's gonna I'm gonna get hit with a copyright. But it's Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. We didn't have no cable TVs. I would, I watched it all day long, and they got the whole highlights of that. Yeah, he he definitely. Spud Webb did this thing a few times, <clears throat> a few times. So yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, Coach, this is more for you right now, and then this this is more for you. I've got to ask. This is trending right now as we speak, but an an anonymous exec said, essentially, Bill Belichick has been voted off the island. That uh, this is this is today, as of today, he nobody has hired Bill Belichick. And apparently it is discussed that they don't want to hire Bill Belichick. So I want to have a very in-depth conversation between um, us about Bill Belichick and what's going on. What do we think is happening behind the scenes? Does his style of football... Does his style of football work? I think that's an idiot question. I think his style of football does work. I think it does work. I think... Any hard nose style of football will work. I don't. We shouldn't be getting soft, but I don't. Know, let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. What do we think, Bill Belichick? Right now, and I'll, I'll, I'll give some details. I'll pull them up. <clears throat> I'll give some details. What's going on? What are your thoughts? I, I think a couple of things. Um, I think when you hire Bill Belichick, I mean, someone's going to lose their job because he wants the head coaching plus general manager, and those general managers say, "Well, I want to hire this guy," and he's going take my job, you know? So I think they're looking out for themselves. Uh, another reason I think his style of coaching, as far as the culture that he sets is getting kind of old. Um, I think today's athletes are different. You know, the way he coaches, he's more old school. You can get away with a lot of that stuff back in the day, but now a lot, a lot of these players are more concerned about their brand than they are the team. And they're not going to put up with being disrespected. Like uh, he doesn't, you know, especially when they make more money um, than the coach do. And I'm not saying all players are like that. Most players want to be coached. Great players want to be coached hard. You know, um, that's just the way it is. But I just think with today's society and culture, uh, coaches like Bill Belichick are going to keep losing out on jobs. They want people like Pete Carroll and, or Mike Tomlin, who are like player type coaches. Uh, Bill Belichick is kind of, is almost a dinosaur, but he will make a great defensive coordinator, though. Well, fair enough. Uh, he, he, Okay, you you brought up something that that I didn't even consider, and I consider just about everything happening on the planet all at the same time. And it was in the article that it was also in the article that that covered this. So if you look, so here, here's the article on the screen, and it's written by well, doesn't give credit to who it's written by, but it's it's happened. It's happening right now. And then, let's see. Nope. Reported by Don Van Natta Jr. and Seth Wickersham and Jeremy Fowler. So give those guys their props. But if you come down here, you just said this. You, you just said this. There's an inherent discomfort with the change because people want to protect their jobs. 
said Michael, Michael Lombardi of one of Bill Belichick's closest friends and confidence with the Browns and Patriots. Even Belichick was aware that his head coach slash GM hybrid had fallen out of favor around the league, <clears throat> sources says. A year ago, Belichick had drinks with another head coach over cocktails. Belichick told that coach that perhaps there was a better way than the way Belichick had been doing things for nearly a quarter of a century. So you're spitting facts right now, man. You're spitting facts. You, you're, you're spitting facts that this, this, and what I would say here is he sucks as a GM though. I'm going to come back to that. I'm really going to come back to that because it's not said enough. I'm going to come back to that. Grace. Oh, okay. I had a question now mm -hmm. is the same way. Okay. When Tom Brady was there. Big and he coached about that. and he coached and he coached the team when Brady was there. Is it the same way he's coaching when Brady left? That's my only question. Because if it is, you this see is that it, you see that it didn't work. This is 100 percent correct. So he, he did not change. Okay, so no. <laughs> <laughs> he did not change. <laughs> it, it, it is not going to work. No. Like he, if he's going to if he's going to continue to coach like that. If he changed, he if he changed, your Baptist church changed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. That's how so, much he didn't change. Right. So then, yeah, if he goes anywhere, he goes anywhere, any other team with that, he's going to get the same results he did as in New England without Brady. Okay. That's this my so oh much to, there's so much to unpack there and we're going to unpack it as we're in this segment but i know i gotta throw it back to coach now because you you, you, you said a few things that he has to respond to go ahead coach yeah i mean bill belichick like i say he's a great coach what he's done over the years he never take that away from him but you have to you know adapt to your times and surroundings that's the only way you survive in nfl um i'm not saying other coaches that coach a team are soft. They're not soft. They cuss those players out. They hold them accountable. But there's a way about going about that. And I think the way Bill Belichick is, he's like I said, he's power, not power hungry, but you hire him as a coach. He's going to be a GM. And him as a GM, is not, he's not very good. I mean, he had a couple picks over the years, but like he is he's as more good concerned as Michael about Jordan is yeah. at GM. And definitely like Bill Belichick's the type of coach, it seems like he's more concerned about his way, the Patriot way. I can get any player to come in and fit my way instead of getting the best talent that's available and coaching them up. Okay. The, you, right. the, the, Cam Newton was a great quarterback. So what happened? Cam Newton said it himself in front of club, uh, on Club Shay Shay exactly okay, what right. happened. I'm and I was absolutely impressed with his answer because it was some things – it was things that I had not even heard before or th considered. He said, well, I, I get there. So I got I got one week to learn the playbook, but then you switch the coordinators and, and all sorts of stuff. So now I'm still learning the I'm six, seven weeks in learning the playbook and, and everything else. And it's difficult to do that. And if I had a chance, if I would have got another year to do it, it's a lot, a lot different. If I would have had the chance to be in off season, it would have been a lot different. But I still have to learn this system and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's it's fair. It's not something I considered, but it was fair. You talked about it on the club Shay Shay, and I thought that was a thought that was a pretty a pretty solid answer for sure. Here's the deal: Bill Belichick sucks as a GM. Michael Jordan sucks as a GM and owner. And we just gonna have to accept these things. This is no hate between Michael Jordan and no hate between. Let's just name me a player Michael Jordan drafted that did any good. And you're more than welcome to say LaMelo Ball, but both ball boys have missed over half their career games. Yep. I'm waiting. Okay. Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna think of nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bill Belichick. I, I I don't know if he drafted Tom Brady. I'm not sure because I know Bledsoe was there and he took over that franchise. 
I'm not sure if he drafted Tom Brady. That's a we, we, somebody going to look that up. Grace Google did Bill Belich did did Bill Belichick draft Tom Brady? I'm I'm very interested in that. Outside of that, you've got great linebackers. You got two great two great linebackers for sure that come through. We could, Bill Belichick changed cover two forever in the NFL. What? The way Bill Belichick groomed linebackers, they were extra defensive backs. So when you had when you were in cover three, you're really in cover two with Bill Belichick because you can have these really fast linebackers who can drop back in the pass real quick and, and it's it's just it's just over. That wasn't done until Bill Belichick start making that so start drafting that way. That's this is how you get your Zach Thomases and Miami and all that stuff like that. That wasn't done until then. Belichick drafts terribly. It's terrible the way he drafts. It's absolutely terrible. And there's nobody. There's this this he just doesn't do a good job. He just doesn't do a good good job as a GM. Coach closes out on this section. <clears throat> what do you what do you think is the future for Bill Belichick? You kind of hinted at defensive coordinator. He drafted him. He drafted him? <laughs> Not until the sixth round, but he drafted him. I was just going to say, but he drafted a six-round quarterback, like, just so we're clear. There's no way. Nobody nobody went, Tom Brady, my guy, you're going to do good. Nobody did that. Just like nobody went, Nikola Jokic, my guy. Remember, he got drafted during a Taco Bell commercial. They didn't even put him on the screen. They put, like, a little little animation of him on the screen. Taco Bell was 90% of the screen. So in, anyway, anyway, it's this, 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 just terrible, terrible things there. Terrible things there. All right. Well, coach closes out in this section and we're going to bring Ebony back in the conversation. I think if Bill Belichick wants to be a coach again, he has to go to already made team that has a quarterback and he's ready, ready to win. Now, if you're looking to rebuild, I mean, at his age, I wouldn't do it. Um, Defensive coordinator, um, he'd be great at that, but he's going to have to change. If he wants to be a head coach, he's going to have to change the way he his coaches style a little bit, um, so that way he can you know adapt to the modern day uh, NFL players and, and teams. Well, I do want to let's 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 back up just a little bit more. I do want to bring up something Grace brought up. There was a long standing debate even though Brady went like 10 years when I went in the championship, who was responsible for the Patriots run Belichick, Belichick or Brady history now has proven it was Brady. Unfortunately, and that that's proven in a very nasty way too, very nasty way. So what are your thoughts on that? I think I Tom Brady was, you you could have saw that saw that when he went to Tampa and brought right. them a championship the first year he was there. Right. It's right. it's in his arm. So that's like the worst dreams. <laughs> like the worst thing yeah. could have happened. Happen. <laughs> Go ahead, Grace. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah, what you just said and what Ebony said. Yeah, you could clearly you could see that when he went to Tampa Bay and. uh it, yeah, it clearly wasn't the coach. It was the quarterback. I mean, now coach has something to do with it because you know he coached them on what to do. However, when you sh- when you showed the quarterback that oh we can do it without you because we still got the coach. Oh okay, say less. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> and he went and did it. <laughs> now what you he, he he like him winning that championship says okay now what you still think that you know. Mm. It's 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 a heck of a think, man. It's a heck of a think, coach. What you got? Uh, I definitely think it's more Tom Brady than Bill Belichick. Um, you know, players win games. As a coach, we can put up, we can help lose a game, but we can't. It's hard for us to win a game. We can put players in a position to win games, but um, it's up to the players to deliver. And I think Tom Brady delivered on the offensive end. Now we'll give Bill Bill, uh, Bill some credit though. He did have some strong defenses. So um, during that stretch run, even when they were bad this last couple of years, the defense held up their end of the bargain. It was just the offense, you know. So with that being said, 
Tom Brady was a quarterback for what twenty years, and when they won those Super Bowls. Fan of, fan of, he was, he was, he was. He had three. I've, I've seen Bill, um, uh, the herd. What's his name? I, I, he's such. He's Colin. such a good journalist. Colin. 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 Colin Cow. He's such a great journalist. He really is. He's such a great journalist. He he really is. He broke down how Tom Brady had three Hall of Fame careers in one career. Three. And each seven years, there's, just, there's like two Super Bowls, three Super Bowls. <laughs> it's crazy how he did this. It's crazy how he had three Super Bowl, Hall of, three Hall of Fame careers in one Hall of Fame career. Crazy. Well, it's time to bring up the full of the state Seminoles. Uh-oh. Oh, I like this song. Let's <laughs> sit up. For the states, uh oh, uh oh. I said we was going to bring Ebony back in the conversation. Right now, well, Ebony, tell them who your favorite football team is. For the state symbols. <laughs> and tell them for how long? My whole <laughs> life, I was raised to be a Seminole. Raised and if I didn't get into college, I was I was gonna cry and work at McDonald's. I told my mom I was like, "It's FSU or McDonald's." <laughs> FSU or McDonald's. I never heard <laughs> yeah. nobody say that before. That's that's <laughs> that you should they should pay you for a commercial. <laughs> they should absolutely pay you for a commercial. There's no doubt about it. They should pay you for a commercial. Well, uh, I'm Florida State down. This a background on my phone. Everything like I love this background on your phone. Tell them what college you you go to and what college you got to graduate from. Florida State University. (laughs) And who plays at Florida State University, Ebony? Well, they switched up the team, but who played? Uh, Jared Burris, Jordan Travis, Trey Denson, Lawrence Toll Philly, like. There's I several. Can't name a single name. <laughs> you clearly approve it. Well, you will hear their names in the NFL. <laughs> with some of more totally, he's coming back for next year. Is that right? Yeah. Well, right now in the two early rankings, Florida State is ranked 15. What you got to say about that, cuz? What I you got to say about that? that we should have been in the championship last year, but that's really? a whole nother conversation. I'm not really? about to get into it. No, we could have brought it up. we going to get into it. Do not. Do not. We are going to get into it. You should have brought it up. That's trash. They should not have been in the championship. Didn't the little Georgia <laughs> game because that Georgia game does not count. That doesn't depict the team we were. Keon Coleman. That doesn't depict the team we were all last year. We were 13 and 0. Okay, Grace, we gotta bring up college football more often. She know her stuff, don't she? (laughs) Clearly. The Terry is Jefferson. Clearly. And 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 the the, the trainer, the trainer, um John Tavius Cartwright. Yes. (laughs) Yes. And and over there to the right, they got the little they got the little water fountain over there. Like she knows all of it. Is it Jordan Wilson? I think is a wide receiver. But um, do not make do not compare for the same. We were thirteen and zero, and then we had to verse. They didn't pick us to go into the the top four, or whatever. They did and not. And then it's then fair. Y'all we were thirteen and one out. last year, eight and zero in the ACC. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Yeah, we were perfect season last year, and we didn't get picked. And then we had to play Georgia. We'll, 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 we'll call you kind of perfect. Thirteen and zero. 13 and 0. You can check. You want me to pull it up? You might be right. We didn't, lose the, we didn't lose a game last year. A game. A game. Not even one. I feel like it's 13 they, and 1. <laughs> oh my I feel God. like it's 13 and 1. You're going to make me pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. I feel like it's 13 and 1. I, my, I got a, I got a <laughs> we pretty good photographic season memory. last year. you perfect in ACC for sure. Perfect in ACC. My uh, my memory is impeccable. It's unfair how good my memory is. I'm thinking it was thirteen and one. 
Yes, it is. But that 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 one don't count though. So that that one don't count. Because Florida lost that it don't one count. doesn't count because there you go. Because it, it wasn't our top players. Our our quarterback got hurt, broke his leg or something, and then our top our receivers, our defense wasn't playing because Jordan Jared Verse went to the was sitting out for the NFL. We only had I think Kalen Deloach was the only player that played, and he went to the NFL. So we have all if all of our top players played. It wouldn't have been sixty-three to three. <laughs> <laughs> Do not laugh. It let me, let me put Florida State on the screen so we can give you some props. Yes, keep going. I'm gonna put their logo on the screen for you so you can feel better. <laughs> it would not have been sixty-three to three, and I hate that 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 game we were defeated so badly. But we had our third ranks. Our third-ranked quarterback playing. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're not number one, so <laughs> I can't remember his name. You don't get but no we respect. Had our, well, he had our third rank because our he he was our second-ranked quarterback had played a few games, and I, I thought he was going to be playing. I was like, I think it's Brock Grant and let him play, let him play, but he didn't. Who, who win the championship this year? Florida State. <laughs> it's going to be Florida State and Colorado, and Florida State's going to win. You mean these people right here? Yes. What does that make you feel like? <laughs> the champion. <laughs> so, y'all don't know, but she got Instagram pictures her all over Florida State field. She just, coach, coach, come in here. C- c- come in here and debate with her because she said yeah. they got robbed last year. They should have been. We in. did. I mean, they did get robbed last year. They wouldn't have won because my team, Michigan, I'm a Michigan fan. The oh, right yeah. team won. So yeah. the right team yeah. won, first of all. There but, you go. There you go. A little, little hate going on. <laughs> Florida State did get robbed, but you got to go back and talk about the money and about the ratings. It, you know, you're right. Their quarter, your quarterback got hurt. You know, so putting them in the top four, they're part of been a blowout. And you're not going to keep Nick Saban out. He brings eyes to the TV and money, you know. So I feel bad for Florida State because they did everything right. They won a, they're won. undefeated in a major conference. Um, if the quarterback didn't get hurt, they probably would have been in there, which is not fair to that kid either because he didn't plan to get hurt. But with that being said, you're not keeping Nick Saban out of the top four just for the money and the eyes viewership purposes anyway. But what did what was the score for the Alabama game? Uh, the right, I don't remember. I know Michigan won. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> I don't know, so but we got the ship. Yeah, that's all. We I, got I, the ship. But, is what yeah, he's but, saying. But, we got but, the ship. But they did. But I think that's why you see so many people. I think they, that's why they, uh, Florida State wants to lead the ACC. You know, because they yes, did everything right last are. year. You know, they, 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 I mean, they did everything right, and they still were kept out. So. Uh, I don't know what the answer is going to be. Well, they expanded the playoffs, so that's one thing that's going to help Florida State, you know, but that's my thoughts. But to win it this year, I don't know. It's kind of early, but if I had to pick one team, I would go with those Georgia Bulldogs. I think they were upset what happened last year. Kirby Smart's a great motivator. I I love his pregame speech. Let's let's (laughs) do it. Let's let's do college predictions right now. Let's do college predictions right now, then. I'd say Florida State. It's going to the championship game. I'm here to tell you right now, Colorado, Coach Prime, they win in 11 games this year. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right. I've been following them all off season. Yeah, they're coming. The Colorado yeah, coming. Everybody was so hyped for yeah, him when we first went to Colorado, and then they disappointed yeah. us. They won four games. Four. They won four games with dudes who sitting outside four. of Home Depot. <laughs> Listen. You know, with day laborers, O line was <laughs> O line was tissue paper, man. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> the best quarterback in the league last year, yeah, was most certainly what well, Kayla Williams or Shadur. I, I, I give you. I mean, well, you know what, yeah. Michigan, mid Michigan boy was it was real good too. So I'll, I'll but you got to put Shadur in the top five. You're, you're, you're out of line if you don't. You're out of line if you don't. Yeah, you absolutely out of line if you don't. But he had Jordan three, Travis. four interceptions whole year running around. Well, right now in the, in the top in the top top 
100 players ranking, uh, Travis is number one and Shadur is like number four. Yes. And then all they did was bring in the O line. All they did, see, recruiting, they didn't have the talent. You know, it's like it's like it's like day laborers. You know, you mm-hmm. I'm looking for a job. You go to Home Depot and say, "Which one of y'all working today?" This is what they had planned for them. <laughs> <laughs> now they got a team. Colorado won eleven games this year. I'm telling you right now. Go ahead, Grace. You were saying something. Uh, oh, I was just going. You know, say okay. Florida State did get robbed. However, uh, would you? And be honest, Ebony. Would you want to have seen Florida State? With your third string quarterback in the top one of them playoff games, it would have no, been bad for TV. No, it would have been no. very, very bad for TV, and that's why. And that's the re- that's the reason why. I know you upset, but that's the reason why they didn't get. Yeah, I mean, that just happened to the 49ers like two years ago. Remember, they was on a third string. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no, no, they went on the third string quarterback. I think it was a receiver playing quarterback. It sure think, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think all three yes. was out. Yes. Yeah. It was a receiver who used to play quarterback in high school playing quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they were completely – and they got their revenge. They went all the way to the – they said that we would have went to the Super Bowl. And, of course, they lost to Patrick Mahomes. And, and, and that game was great. The 49ers played a great game. They didn't lose the game. Okay. They just ran into Patrick Mahomes. Yes, because I was like, and okay. that's actually more accurate. I said, "Oh, the Forty Nine is going to pull this out," and then at the end, I was like, "Wow!" Yeah, they ran into Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> they ran into Patrick Mahomes. They didn't lose that game. Brock Purdy did everything he was supposed to do. They did what they were supposed to do. That was a hard far game. Just generational champions say, <laughs> Mutombo, Ewing, Robinson. You ain't getting in on my watch, Stockton. Y'all know who I'm talking about, huh? That's Jordan. Even though you right, David Robinson did win championships. It was after Jordan retired. It was after he retired, and they had to get Tim Duncan. Yeah. But it was after he retired. Jordan said, get out of here, player. Watch out. Watch out. Don't play with me. Okay, don't play with me. So I even I had to give him them props. Grace. Well, hold on. Let me just do this one more time for Ebony. One more time for Ebony. Go ahead and shout, Ebony. Get your scream on. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. You're, uh, you're a homosexual, so you might as well. Well, that's fair. I am a sexual, so okay, then I will, I will give you that. Grace. Do you hear the music? Because you know what's coming up. If you can hear the music, you know. Oh, playoff time! It is playoff time, Grace. How did you know? How did you know? That's that NBC playoff music. Yeah, it sure is. That's what the playoff music is. Grace, we got to talk about it. We know who the A seed is now. Yep. And we know who the ninth seed is, or just about. Because the Kings got to play the Pelicans for the eighth seed or the whatever seed it is. I can't remember. I'm so confused oh, right. sometimes. Right. Because, yeah, the Lakers are not. No, no, for the eighth seed. The Lakers are the seventh seed. Yeah, they're playing for the eighth seed. Uh, Kings, oh. and the, and the Kings and the Pelicans. Kings and the Pelicans are playing for the eighth seed to go against Oklahoma. This is real deal, y'all. Hey. Hey, this is happening right now. This yes. the is the greatest time of the year, coach. It's greatest time of the year, now, man. Hey, you know, yeah, and y'all know the NBA is real good at drama. Very. One of the best, one of the best time in sports is NBA offseason. That's when all the drama come out, boy. They be, you know, they went where? Yeah. <laughs> like, we talk about, are we ever going to talk about um, Allen Iverson's trophy that he won? You know what? We can't talk about Allen Iverson's trophy. Of course, I'm going to be a buzzkill there and explain why it's small, but I will let y'all have it. <laughs> so, yes, we can talk about Allen Iverson's trophy right after this for sure. I got, I got, something, we, I got something to say, not about Allen Iverson, but about the, the top seed. The top the seed, West. man. Top seed in the West. Top seed, I'm, you know, I'm not hating. No, I'm not hating. I was listening to uh, Nightcap last night. Uh-huh. And 
somebody, people, a lot of people didn't like what Shannon Sharp said. He said, the number one seed in the West is the weakest that we've ever seen. I said, oh, <laughs> I said, wait a minute. <laughs> He said, that's the weakest number one we've ever seen. And he said, the only reason I said that is because everybody else who has been the top seed, they've got, uh, oh, what was the, what was the word he used? Basically, he was saying these guys are young and they have, you know, they don't have, they haven't had uh, any, uh, man, what is the word? You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, no, they don't have no season experience. No right. Basically experience. experience. Basically yeah. experience. Yeah. I don't even know who coaching them right now, but whatever. I know the GM doing a fantastic job. I know that much. I know whoever the GM, I forget his name, but I know Bron James will be trying to buy him when he get his own <laughs> NBA team. I know that much. I know that much. Come on, coach. You can jump in there. You and Gracie go back and forth. I know you're ready. I, I, look, I, I, know, I know it's hard to hold your mule. I know it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I look at... um. OKC a little different. They're young, so they don't know any better. They don't know they're not supposed to be there. So they're just going to go out and play. So right. even though they're number one, they probably don't even feel that pressure because they don't know any better. They just go out there and hoop, and I think that's going to make them dangerous. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't have them winning a championship, but uh, just they don't know any better. That The we, lack of experience doesn't bother me any. We making championship predictions. I keep trying to get y'all to jump out there. Y'all know where I'm at. Lakers in five. You know where I'm at. <laughs> Lakers in five. I'm telling y'all. When, when the Lakers beat the Boston boy, Celtics. I, I have it's so gonna be the Lakers and the Celtics. It's gonna be the Lakers and the Celtics. When the Lakers beat Denver, they're gonna be become the overwhelming favorites. And not only when they become the overwhelming favorites, let me tell you, I watched me. I watched last year every disrespectful thing that the Nuggets coach said about LeBron James, LeBron's dad, all that stuff. And it's fine while playing. <laughs> but he drug it for three months after the season. He was on he was on podcasts and sports shows just throwing zingers for no reason. <sighs> now, I'm not talking about class. Let him take whatever role he want to take. This is not an argument for class. He can win how he want to win. I'm just trying to tell you if I'm pissed off about it. LeBron <laughs> and AD, they've been thinking about this since last year. At the beginning of the season, when they asked LeBron, so what do you think about the... There's going to be time for that. That's all that man said. Now, y'all know how black <laughs> folk is. When black folk ain't got no words, <laughs> black folk got words. <laughs> they just in their heads. You understand? Yep. <laughs> it's a bunch of cuss words up in that in that head. If I'm upset about how they this is revenge tour. This revenge tour. And ain't no you way in the world you cannot give LeBron James and a healthy AD an opportunity to get on the court. Because they all those two together, that's an extra twenty five points before the game start. AD second, he, he's number one in second chance points in the NBA this season. He played most of the games. Anyway, <laughs> coach, I, I got I, I'm I'm coming back. Lakers in five. I'm telling y'all right now, Lakers in five. It's going to be a gentleman sweep. And I don't think it's going to be the Celtics, to be honest with you, but I'll come back to that in a little bit. Coach, who you got? We, 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 we will put it, it not well, just who you, you got, anything you want to say. It's number one in the East. Well, number one in the East is the Celtics. I just don't think the Celtics is going to, going to get in. I just don't who think is it going to be? I'll come back to that in a little bit. I'll come back to that in a little bit. <laughs> I don't, I, I, Celtics is overwhelming favorites. The whole East is trash. Whole East is trash. The whole East is trash. The whole East is trash. The whole the East? This game included and my, even your beloved Pacers? Even your beloved Pacers? Except for my Pacers. <laughs> it, no, for my no. Pacers. It's got to be everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And Except I don't even Pacers. believe that. Mm -hmm. You don't even believe that. I don't believe the East is trash? Yes. Let me tell you how trashy the East is, please. 
First off, the Bulls shouldn't be nowhere near the court at all. They had an entire dysfunctional season. They, they season was so dysfunctional. I can't even think of a joke about how dysfunctional this season is. You can't count on the Hawks because Trey Young, as wonderful as he is, is insanely inconsistent. The best team in the East should be the 76ers due to the fact that Joel and B missed all the doggone season. And in fairness, they shouldn't even be number seven, and they are. And uh, what's old boy, uh, Maxi? What's, what's his name, coach? Yeah, he balling. Tyre- Tyrese Maxi, Tyrese, yeah, it's disrespectful. He, he if the way I see Tyrese Maxi is I the way I see Jamal Murray for the Nuggets. This, that's the way I see Tyrese Maxi. So, what I have going, well, I want to tell you what I got going in just for sure. The, the, you wouldn't. We would not see a playoff Jimmy Butler. It will not happen. If what? it does happen, it's just going to be him. The Miami Heat is getting bounced. They will, <laughs> they will. They will not win their play in. They will not win their play in whatsoever. They will be fighting for the eighth seed. I'm just telling you, it is what it is. They'll be fighting for the eighth seed, and then Trey Young go pull some miraculous and knock them off. It just. It just is what's going to happen right there. So that's what's going to happen. But anyway, I've talked too much. Coach, get in here real quick. And then I'll tell y'all what how, what I see happening. You want my champion or? I want anything. You can talk as long as I want your champion. I want your breakdown. I want last night. Give it all to us. Well, I think last night showed how great LeBron is, you know, and AD together. Plus, they had help, you know, from Russell and Reed and all, all those guys. Um, I know early on I said Denver would be there, but. You got a motivated LeBron that all the experts are saying they should lose that game last night to avoid playing Denver. So I know they heard that throughout the week. So that's going to motivate them to win. I think they can win in six uh, against the Nuggets. Um, if they get past the Nuggets, I think they're going to get their championship against Boston from the East. Um, I want LeBron to win in the Lakers. I'm a, I'm a LeBron fan. But if you just look at the, the Celtics with, you know, Brown and Tatum and uh, Holiday and Przingis, I just think that's gonna be a hard out. So I want the Lakers to win the championship, but I think Boston will end up winning uh, the championship over the Lakers. Thank that's you. Fair. That's for, Thank I, I, you. I, just Somebody because I, just because I don't agree, don't mean I have a problem with it. <laughs> I, I don't agree with it. But if it happened, I'm gonna be like, it should have happened. That's exactly what should have happened. <laughs> For sure. When you, when you when you when you get Chris out, it, it, it was over after that because and they jailed what he's doing with Celtics is what we wish he would have did with the Dallas with, with, with Dallas. But but his was even crazier though. We ain't even mentioning Mr. I just signed a big old contract for the next four years because Milwaukee was too stupid to let me stay on the team. <laughs> Drew Holiday. Oh, my goodness. How in the world did you let Drew Holiday go? That's crazy. If they would have had Drew and Dame, oh, my. Boston who? <laughs> this would have been like Boston who? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am, I'm, I'm, I don't know who is making decisions for the Milwaukee Bucks. But they're not they're not they're not sports analysts. That's clear. This is clear. You, now, I'm not saying bringing in while they have been underwhelming, Giannis has been superbly dominant. His numbers are off the chart. I'm not even gonna give you the Dame talk. I would have traded for Dame too. It just makes sense. And then, hey man, we got Dame on the table if you can get him. You're going to get Dame. It is what it is. But you don't trade Drew Holiday and then go get Doc Rivers. <sighs> anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I, I question both those Listen, decisions. Okay. I strongly question both they those got, decisions. You know, syphilis, it caused brain damage if you can get it cleared up. They okay. got somebody like Tillman for Tita making decisions. Yeah, yeah. Somebody got, <laughs> somebody got syphilis. 
and it caused brain damage. Because I need somebody else to make untreated for a decade. I need somebody else to make decisions for the Rockets. I really do. Just whatever. I know they're not even just not they're not even a topic, but I just that's that's my squad. So whatever. Uh, Tillman has done terrible with the Rockets. Terrible. Terrible with the Rockets. But the yeah. I'll be quiet right Coach, come come say something, man. You gotta every time we go off the rails, we gotta get you to bring us back. Man, I think uh we give so much praise to LeBron being a general manager for his teams. We gotta look at Giannis. You know, the Bucks would not make those moves if it wasn't for Giannis. You know, they went to him and he had to sign off on them. So when they got rid of their coach uh this year when he was 30 and 13, that made no sense to me. They bring in Doc Rivers is you know, he's a good coach, but he hasn't won anything but when he had the Celtics. But when he's in Philadelphia, he had that talent and he couldn't win a series, you know. So uh definitely Giannis is making the moves behind the scenes. So I think we need to hold him accountable for that. And um yeah, losing Drew Holiday hurt them a lot because he not only scored, he can play defense. Dame, yeah, Dame's on a block, you're going to get him, but he's not the defensive guard like Holiday is, but he can shoot. But um, definitely got to hold uh, Giannis accountable for being general manager, getting the coach fired when he's 30 and 13. That never happens. Um, then bringing Doc in, I believe they've been 500 since then. Now Giannis is hurt. He's probably going to miss a series. Even if he was healthy, I think the Pacers were going to win that series anyway. You know, I, so. I absolutely have paces beating the Bucks. Yeah. I absolutely have paces. This is why I just, I, <clears throat> Grace, go ahead, Grace. And then I'm, then I'm gonna tell you what I think is gonna happen with the playoffs. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I really do believe um, with the, 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 yeah, with this happening, the Lakers because they have something to, to really fight for. Like the regular season is cool, but they was fighting for their play in. Uh, I mean, for that um, not the playing tournament. What was the this the championship that the uh, what they call it? The new oh, season, season. season, the in season tournament. Oh, they had something to fight for. Okay, yeah, we gonna get that now. Huh? Okay, it's playoff time. Yeah, we got something to fight for this championship. So now we all laser focused. We're locked in. Um, yeah, like I said, if you could keep AD healthy, please. Okay, because him in the back spasm, stop it. Okay, so <laughs> keep AD healthy. And then D'Lo, Austin Reeves, all the supporting cast. Uh, uh, me, I, I can always forget that guy's name. It starts with an M, I think. But uh, I see his face, clear as day. But him, uh, Prince, um, and just, just yeah, like I said, the supporting cast. If everybody, D'Lo needs to show up. He, D'Lo okay. does need to show up like he, he showed up he yesterday. Is a, I had a quick question, a, though. He's a James Harden fizzler in right. the playoffs. Now, I had a quick question about that game yesterday because Zion was Zioning then. Yep. I got a question. Mm-hmm. Would the Lakers still have won that game if Zion didn't get hurt and have to leave? Because I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. What y'all doing? It's a, it's a great question. Um, so the, the, the reason why I'm – very happy about the win yesterday for 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 the LeBroners because it's not Lakers, it's LeBroners. Pretty much, yes, yes, yes. For, for the LeBroners okay. is well because playoff basketball is about coaching, and Darvin right. Ham is trash. Darvin Ham is AFC East. He is. <laughs> Stop it. He is. <laughs> he is. Whatever. The NFC South is whatever, what he, whatever, NFC South. whatever underneath Donald Trump neck look like after a sweaty day. That's Darvin Ham. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's whatever. terrible. That's, that's, terrible. that's that's Darvin. His coaching is trash. His rotations is trash. And he, he, the only reason I'm saying Lakers in five instead of Lakers never losing a game in the playoffs ever this year is because Darvin Ham. So I was very because yeah. it's, remember they played New Orleans back to back. It's hard to be the team back to back, especially with playoff. Both of those games had playoff implications because both of those games needed to be those were both win or bust games. So that's a playoff atmosphere. And I got to see the coaching. I got to see the coaching and I watched yesterday how that I oh I was so angry at the rotations. And, and when you winning by eight. Going into the third, I mean, going into the fourth quarter, and I watched his rotation. I'm like, you just trash, man. You just trash. But, but I watched the coaching start happening on the court. AD wasn't even in the. He wasn't in the game. 
AD wasn't even in the game ending the third quarter or beginning the fourth quarter. But anyway, I watched the coaching on the court, and I was like, okay, good. We can neutralize Darvin Ham. Thank you. Please. If the Please. Lakers were, <clears throat> were supposed to magically win, don't you think that would mess up? Bronny, because you know he's going to the NBA draft, so that's gonna mess up the Lakers' rankings. In the- well, he, he's still keeping this college eligibility too, <clears throat> and I know there's a bunch of Bronny haters out there. I think, I think LeBron's letting him do whatever he want to do. You know, what I'm saying whatever. I, I mm-hmm. think that's really what he's doing. I know people aren't giving him that credit, but we we had to dedicate a whole show just to that one topic <laughs> just that one topic grace I coach i remember the gentleman's name i never want to disrespect anybody any player hachi Moore. i'm talking his name stole the m hachi Moore. Oh, yeah that's what, so if, if he he stays on yeah, he gets on fire too yeah you said it was over the m i was like oh, yeah. what are you doing oh yeah, yeah no yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hachi Moore. <laughs> my bad <laughs> hachi Moore should be austin reeves played a really good game yesterday he did really good game yesterday and it was a there was a crucial play to where LeBron turned the ball over, and I was like, "Come on, LeBron, I could be stupid." <laughs> this is in the fourth quarter, and, and and I was like, "Come on, LeBron." What, and like it. some seconds left, and he was—he, I think he was trying to pass it to AD. Yeah, he was trying to pass it to AD, and before, right before that though, his he he, he must have been. It was two shots before that. He missed two layups. He missed two layups. The first layup he missed because he did it with his right hand. He didn't use his left hand. The second layup he missed. He 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 did a cold slash through. I don't think he ever caught his balance. And then he missed with his left hand, and, and of course he's thirty nine years old. Well, you, 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 your legs, you need your legs under you. This is Steph. This is this is um Clay Thompson's problem. You don't have his basketball legs no more. You can't shoot threes without basketball legs. You just can't do it. If you if you don't have that that fitness, you start you you start shooting air balls and stuff and, and things like you, you come up short. <laughs> you come up short. So yeah, I mean it's it's, it's great questions. I I think Bronny will leave Bronny alone, but uh, coach, I think the Lakers and LeBron they wanted just watching the game last night. You know, um, he took two charges, I believe, uh, in the second half oh, they were he against, against uh, Zion. But, you know, so you got the one of the best players in the probably the best player in the league taking charges against Zion, and at his age, I mean, if it's LeBron in his twenties, that's one thing, but 39, 40 years old, that freight train coming through. Yeah, that freight that, train. That told me everything that hey, he's in this to win. He's you in know, it. he ain't gonna say much because he don't talk much during the playoffs, but you know he's motivated by all those external factors that's gonna happen. And that, that's what makes him dangerous. Exactly what makes him dangerous. He 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 got a chip on his shoulder and he should. He should he did that that that, one, that charge he took. I watched it. <clears throat> LeBron left his feet and it would yes. Well, I was just but yeah, no, that flop. was not a he flop. Left he, his feet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was real close to a backflip. I was like, he was like, yeah, buddy. That was that was that that was something else. All right. Predictions. Give it back to us. The music back up. Who winning? Who you got? Who who, got who going from the west? You got the I Lakers got- from the West. Uh, from the from the east, it's kind of hard because I really don't know. I mean, yeah, you, got the, you got you got the, you got the you got the Lakers and Pacers, Lakers okay. and Pacers a rematch of the end season tournament is what I got. I don't know why, but I got the Knicks from the east. I had just, just yeah. Wanna... So here's what here's what I'm thinking. But Randall got hurt. The, the Knicks is gonna win their round, and the Lakers is gonna. I mean, the Pacers are gonna win their round. Okay, Pacers yeah. are gonna win their round. Watch it, watch it, Mike Grace. Oh. The Pacers are gonna win their round. <clears throat> Lakers gonna win. Um, I mean, Knicks gonna win their round. The Celtics gonna win their round, and the Sixers are gonna win their round. This is what I'm thinking. What? Then we're gonna, yeah, and then we're gonna start canceling teams out because these are some great matchups. And if it ain't the Pacers, it's gonna be the Knicks. But I do not have the Celtics going into the championship. <clears throat> I do not. It's gonna be Pacers and Celtics Knicks. Celtics are going. I do not. I still have my problems with the Celtics. I am not saying that Jason, <clears throat> I have great empathy for Jason Tatum. He's been there with five, six times now. Yeah, what is he? 20 years old? He's not 20, but you get the point. It's like 24, 25. The Celtics are incredible. 
I just can't get over having the most turnovers in playoff mm-hmm. history. I just, I just can't get it. I just until I see Jalen Brown and Jay, Jason Tatum actually work well together in the playoff series, I have no faith in them. I don't. I, it's not personal. It's I did I did Nicole Yoko just say I have no problem being proved wrong. Until Nicole Yoko win the championship, I don't want to hear all that greatest thing out on the statistic. He need to win. I, uh, Caitlin Clark is the goat. No, she not. No, she not. She should be. She should have won. She, we 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 got to we got to put throwing these little goats and these tiners around. Get you a ring. Get you a ring. Spud Webb does the goat. See how crazy that sound? You see that? See how crazy that sound? Yes. Yes. Okay. Get you a ring. Charles Barkley, the goat. Get you a ring. Then we can have these goat conversations. I'm just, <clears throat> don't bother me. I mean, excuse me. I don't mean to bother you, but that's my prediction. Lakers in five. It's going to be Lakers, oh. Pacers rematch an in-season tournament well of course that would they we would win in five if they burst the pacers you really think the pacers are going jesus the angels and the all-stars from the 1996 bulls can get into the east and still <laughs> link us in five <laughs> okay. okay it's still link us in five you hear me <laughs> jesus getting crossed over it just is what it is. It just I is. Think getting crossed over. Crossed over. We taking charges from Michael and Gabriel. Lakers in five. I don't care what well, you throw at. Come back, bring um, Kobe back. Yeah. Kobe take the whole team down. <laughs> number eight and number twenty-four. Kobe can be fifth and sixth man. Lakers in five. <laughs> Lakers at five. You hear me? Lakers at five, Grace. I'm telling you what it is. Lakers at five. I'm borrowed from Shannon. I don't believe that. Goat James. Lakers at five. Goat James. When it happened, I'm going to get me a goat mask and then the black and mild. Then we're going to have Shay Shay Day. God dog it. Lakers at five. Grace, what's your prediction? Yeah, I think it's going to be the Lakers. Who these? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. Okay, Lakers. I, I said the Knicks, but when you was talking, I was like, eh, you, you, you got a point there. I mean, I feel stupid not saying Celtics. I just have a personal right. problem with their playoff performances. Right. But I, I, yeah, I, I really think they go. I really think they go make it to the finals. They're not gonna win, but I think they go make it to the finals, and it'll be the Lakers that'll, that'll win. <sighs> It, it'll, it'll be a good fight. I have a problem with these these predictions. Stand on something, cuz stand on something. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stand on the number one seeds. They're going to burst in the Celtics. We're gonna win. So Oklahoma and the Celtics is what you're saying. Yes, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, I don't think anybody else but you got Oklahoma it's going. The Celtics <laughs> It's a Celtics' year. They made that obvious when last night when the Warriors lost and the Celtics will win. They got the, they got the biggest in the NBA history point differential. They 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 they, they winning by over eleven points a game. The Lakers, by all intents and purposes, should be the number one overwhelming pick. If they don't win, it would be disappointing. <clears throat> it would absolutely be disappointing. It would absolutely be disappointing. It would, Coach. <laughs> I got the Lakers coming out of the West, uh, Boston out of the East. Like I said, I hate to do it, but Boston. <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. It's fair. In seven games. It's fair. To me and it's Ron, I'm um, the same. We I'm agree like that, that the Boston I, Celtics are going to win it all. We agree. Y'all, like, that's great that's to do agree. That's hard. Like, I'm a big it's LeBron hard. fan, so it's hard it's going hard. against LeBron, but I just think the Celtics are too strong this year. I a hundred percent. So let me let me let, let's, let's let's pull this back on the screen. <clears throat> let me let me show you what I mean. If the Celtics win, I have zero problems. If the Kansas, if Oklahoma City win, I got zero problems because their season should say they should win. The youngest team to do all these things, they got 
what four out of their five starters play 82 games. They got the rookie of the year if Wimbiyama did not exist. <laughs> they have great I have no problem if they win. If the Clippers win, I would be shocked. I got no problem if they win. If the Mavericks win, it'd be a great revenge tour for Kyrie. I have no problem with this. I have no problem with this. The team I don't the team I see just has no chance of winning is the Milwaukee Bucks. Even though I shouldn't say that, I just don't trust Milwaukee or Doc Rivers. <laughs> just, it just is what it is. I have no problem. I have no problem with these with these people winning. If the Nuggets win, <clears throat> so be it. Then Nicole Yoke is showing up going to the Hall of Fame. If that happens, there ain't no doubt about it. It's, it's the first ballot Hall of Fame. This is why I say Lakers in five. I like no, to think this about this. Your LeBron sexual is why you say Lakers in five. Well, well, I I like to take a very analytical approach to things. I like to take a very analytical approach to things. Lakers in five for this reason, because it's better to face Denver this week instead of next month. <clears throat> if the Lakers had to face Denver in the conference finals. I'd say Denver's going to win. I say Denver's going to win. <clears throat> but when you think about what the Lakers are, the number one clutch team in the NBA, 24 and 9, 23 and 9, the number one second chance points team in the NBA. And I know you're saying, well, well, I mean, they lost to the Denver the last eight, eight games. You're correct. Four of those games was that trash Lakers squad <clears throat> that shouldn't even been on the table. I think one or two of them didn't even have the starters, but that's a whole different Lakers team. The Lakers we see today is not the Lakers that was even in the NC. No, the Lakers in the end season tournament is who we see today. I'm banking on I, this is just what I believe. The best duo in the NBA. Has to be. It's, it's, I would say it's tied for number one. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and LeBron and AD. You can't find a better duo. You cannot. You cannot find a better duo in the NBA. <clears throat> now we got LeBron and AD, and I just, I'm like, coach, I have a hard time going against. LeBron and AD with three point shooters around them. It's hard. It's, I, it's well, coach did so <clears throat> he did go against them as well. I just I think don't we, see them winning. Fair enough. I, at, at if some they point, win, clap hand claps for them. But you don't I see Patrick don't see Mahomes in his third championship this year because it's gonna happen. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's Boom. Gonna happen. Three in a row. It's gonna happen. If if, if he happen. does, I'll just be a Patrick Mahomes fan because I'm I'm not gonna keep going against him. He if he if he's like a Tom Brady, like a Tom Brady, he, he's definitely wins, he definitely then has the I just strongest. have to go for him because going against him doesn't bode well for me. He definitely has the strongest NFL start ever of any player to ever walk into the NFL. Nobody has ever started stronger. That's that's statistics. Nobody has ever started stronger. Seven years, two MVPs, th three Super Bowls or two, whatever, two Super Bowls, whatever it is. Strongest. He only lost a Super Bowl to whom? Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and it was, that was the one year I was like, I'm going for him. Tom Brady with the Bucks. I watched all the games leading up to it. I was like, yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Coach, did it. give us some final words for this segment, man. Lakers at five. I think the My playoffs going to be exciting. <laughs> you know, you brought up duos earlier. Yeah. You know, I like Dallas's duo with Kyrie and Luka. Fair. I like Phoenix duo with uh, KD and um, Booker. Booker. So I think it's gonna be exciting, more so in the West and the East. The East is kind of like trash. Yeah, pretty much. No, <laughs> no. Just, you know, I mean, he has some good stories over there, like the Knicks. You know, that, that's a good story. What's that? 
She talking about I said, uh, Jimmy Bad Butler Bobby and Bobby Jimmy Butler. You know, she's I mean, a Miami like, Heat fan. I mean, so every time we say something about the Heat, she take it personal. I mean, yeah. even if the Heat gets to the championship, if the Heat gets to the championship, they're not going to win it. Someone out of the West is going to win it if the Heat get there. And I like the Heat. It's not, I'm not hating against the Heat. It's just that the West is too strong, and I don't I, see the – Heat doing anything. I mean, I think Jimmy Butler should just come on over to the Lakers. We'll do, we're just gonna head in all that stuff right now. Come on over to the Lakers, Jimmy Butler, or wherever LeBron is. Like, just come on over. Or, or send Clay over there, space out the floor. Yeah. If we get Buddy Hill next year, it's over. It's over. We've tried, we've been trying to get him the last two years. Oh, man, that man played 82 games, Grace. We need an 82 game. Yeah. Okay. That man played 82 games. Now, nah, coach, I, I think, think you're right. The duos. Though. I think he's getting slept on. I think I think Oklahoma City is getting slept on. Well, yeah. Okay. In a major way. I think I think what we're looking at is I think we're looking at the beginning of the Warriors dynasty when they first started. I think that's okay. Oklahoma City. Okay. I think that's, that's Oklahoma fair. City. That's fair. I absolutely think. I th- I thought it was going to be the Kings. Because they have all the pieces plus the, the coach that came from Golden State. But it's 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 Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. It's it's crazy because I'm saying Oklahoma City so many times. Nobody says Oklahoma City that many times. Unless you mm-hmm. do taxes or you're a police officer. Oklahoma City PD. That's the only time you like nobody says it that many, no that much. <clears throat> nobody. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Grace, <laughs> any thoughts on Last thoughts, even though we know it's Lakers and five. Uh, you got my prediction, Lakers and Boston. Lakers and Boston, coach. You said Lakers and Boston. Yeah, yeah. Boston, 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 Boston winning. Boston winning. Yeah, game seven games. Okay, all right. At least he, at least he put some respect on. At least he put some <laughs> respect on the Lakers. Seven, seven games. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a dog fight. Okay, fair enough. Ebony said. Oklahoma and and Celtics. I got no problem with that. I have no problem. I really have no problem with that. They're number one seed for a reason. And I, I don't agree with I don't agree with Shannon Sharp. But I do see what he was trying to say. I don't agree with him, but I do see what he was trying to say. Oklahoma's been balling all year. I later. do agree with him. Well, fair enough. <laughs> with the, fair the enough. name, no one like he said, no one says Oklahoma City that many times. That's what no. he meant. The by the weakest team, but but if you watch basketball close, Oklahoma City got all of the draft picks for all those trades they made. So this has been coming for a while. You know they've been loading up on draft right. picks. You know, so it only makes sense for them to be good. You know because they've been loading up on all these draft picks. Fair enough. That's one hundred percent. And and it, it should have been. They've been loading up. They got very 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 smart people over there. So it's 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 highly impressive what they're doing. I remember now. He okay, was, go ahead. Him and, him and uh, Gil, uh, Gilbert Arenas, he comes on, you know, talking to him with the NBA. He was saying, Shannon Trump was saying that the number one seed in the West is the weakest number one we've seen in the West in a long time. And Gilbert Arenas says only because they haven't been, the word was battle tested. They hadn't been battle tested. That's why he was saying, you know. No, you know, I absolutely get what was being said. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with it. I don't think you need to be battle tested. I think I think what we do as analysts is we need someone to be battle tested so we can have faith in them because we're being cautious. I'm with coach. Them players don't care about being battle tested. Okay. Put me on the court. Somebody losing is what they saying. Yep. <laughs> I promise you. Oh, God. oh my God, guys. Everybody sit down. Players only meeting. We need to be battle tested. No. No, SGA is going. Put me on the court. <laughs> Ain't nobody seeing me. I'm getting thirty. <laughs> I'm get. I'm getting thirty. I'm getting thirty, and I respect that. I respect it. I'm. I'm a competitor myself. So y'all got me messed up. If you think I'm scared of your team, my mama, rest her soul. So I ain't scared of nobody. Unless you got hair on your teeth, I ain't scared of you. Oh my God. That's what she would say. That's what she would say. She would say it every time. Unless you got hair on your teeth, I ain't scared of no man. And last time I checked, Grace, growing on hat, growing hair on your teeth. Yeah, it's just, it's, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. So I, I think that's what she was trying to talk about. I think that's what she was trying to say. That uh, watch your mouth around here. I ain't scared of you. It's what I think she was trying to say. But you know, whatever. 
whatever. All right, so I'm going to put up one more thing, and we got one more segment, and then we out of here. I want to jump back though to this. I thought we were going to to Allen Iverson, the the size of his trophy. That was disrespectful, okay. but they did. You know, when you saw the other trophies lined up, then it's like so oh, it's man. not disrespect because it's not it's, assist. It's not the let's stand outside trophy. It's the this isn't our practice facility trophy. They're all small. It's it's not the Kobe Bryant. Yes, and that was I was expecting a Kobe Bryant size. That just shows you the media team for the 76ers failed. That's what that shows you. (laughs) And social media. It looked like it looked like (laughs) Mike. Social media clown like, for like, sure. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Social media clown for sure. That just goes to show you that um <laughs> the worst thing that ever happened to mankind was social media. <laughs> the worst thing. It's the best worst thing. We talk too much. All right, I want coach. I won't I won't have any opinions here. I want coach and I want you ladies to we want to go back to not Caitlin Clark, but the salaries for the WNBA. And let's just say what could change or what should change. And any advice to young people coming forward, you know, any of that stuff. Yeah, I got it. I mean, just keep, hold on. I mean, for the women, just keep paving the way and, you know, keep being great. Keep doing what you're doing so that people can take notice, give give you more and more attention. That way, more and more money will happen. More and more money will come. Revenue will go up. And then that way, the women, you know, can get the salaries that they deserve. You know, like you said, when you came from a revenue standpoint of how it's, it's not there. Now I get it. But, you know, I so like you said, somebody got to pave the way. Somebody has to. You know, be the trailblazers and continue. Can't, 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 can't squeeze hamburger meat out of an orange. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know. Coach? I would say the young people and just the women in general right now, the WNBA, control what you can control and keep plugging away. You know, it's coming. The women's game is popular. Um, you know, you got sometimes you got to crawl before you walk. And I, I think that's the case right now with the WNBA. But just like the women's soccer, I believe they got paid as much as the men get paid much as the men. Now, the women will get paid their money and rightfully so. They deserve that money. Um, They're professional athletes, you know, so they should be treated like professional athletes as well. But it's coming. I don't know when, but the money's coming for them. Yeah, that, 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 that's my big gripe. I think these ladies ought to be treated far better in their travel and their practice facilities. Now, that that's my big gripe. Forget the I don't want to say forget the salaries because they should be bigger. But, right. but they they're not they don't have state of the art facilities and they should they absolutely should Ebony. Oh, I you were you were waiting. For the, me this segment me. only I, exists because you was hot. Oh, I well, what you said about, about the revenue was like, well, well, that does make sense. They're not making the money, but. I just feel bad for Caitlin Clark. She should have went to the big three. I mean, you know, there's some money out there, ain't it? There's some money out there, but don't feel bad for her. <clears throat> she is a millionaire a few times over, a few times over. Well, we got one more segment. It's very short, but. I don't know if y'all know. Well, the roster has been <laughs> This is the official yeah. Olympic roster. Right. This is it. This is it right here. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Anthony Edwards, Anthony Davis, Tyrese Halliburton, Devin Booker, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, Bam Adebayo, and Kawhi Leonard. That's fire, y'all. That's a good yeah. roster. 
okay, so they can only have 12 people because like- Yes, 12. Okay, because when, when we was talking privately, yeah, I was with coach, where's Kyrie? What, like, what happened? <laughs> Kyrie got slighted from top 75 team and the Olympics team. That's I'm that. not sure what's happening around there. All right, so you know what? That's a good question though. Let's let's bring that back up. Who would you replace? Who would Tyree replace? Devin Booker. Ooh, that's bold. Man. <clears throat> really? You said that with some strength too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it okay. Was Grace. Chat. Who would Tyree replace, uh, coach? I think on this list, probably Kawhi Leonard. I would okay, Kawhi would have had my vote or yeah, Kawhi would have had my vote. Yeah, or, or or Drew Holiday. Even though I know you know Drew Holiday, and somebody got to play defense. It's a bunch of people there for sure. But yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Kyrie yeah. should have been there for sure. Should have okay, been there. First sure. take yesterday. <laughs> Stephen A. had me laughing talking about Kawhi Leonard. Don't need to be. Uh, uh-uh. if I was uh, uh the uh. Either he said a GM or the owner of the Clippers. I'd make sure Kawhi was playing for the Clippers next season because I don't need him getting hurt. Playing in these Olympics. Hey, whatever they change those rules, that man has been serious about not missing no games. He has not missed whatsoever. So for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, who's beating this team, y'all? What's their record? I think this is this is another dream team. This is, it's certainly, I mean, I don't see how you wouldn't be able to call it a dream team. I don't see how not. That's like, if you think about the dream team in the nineties and they even did yeah. dream team too. Yeah. This, this is the best, this, this is the best representation we got. Yeah. Cause dream team too had Kobe in there, huh? And LeBron the first time. <laughs> yep. And then, and then our meeting room coach brought out no, no American centers. So you got right. That. Right. <laughs> I only, about, I only thought about Jokic, and I was like, "Well, he's not playing for America." <laughs> yeah. Well, Bam Adebayo is what well, is the African, probably South Cameroon, or something. I have, I have no idea. Right, and Joel Embiid. I was like, "Whoa, okay." Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, I think that's it. Final words. I, I think uh, we t- we started with the women, so I'm gonna end with the women with my final words. Grace, you're a big Houston Comets fan. I think we need to start a franchise down there for us. Listen! Get a women's franchise down in Houston. Yes. Bring it back. Get them, bring it back. Uh, how you going to get rid of the people who won four years straight? What happened? I still want to know what happened. Yeah, because they, they're they making way for us to make, be owners down there, be ownership down there in those women's yeah. franchises. Watch yourself, Ron. Watch Based yourself. on that announcement yeah. that the, the commissioner gave, Houston is not on the expansion. Wow. It's not on them. That's not what I read yesterday. Houston is not was not on them. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, Houston was not on them. But maybe it's the Houston market. You know, this is the Bible Belt. Shut up and be been silent. Have you to a game, Miss Craig? Say it again. Have you been yeah. to a game? Like a WNBA game? They not here. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're not here anymore. They've been going for I don't know how long. Over well, a decade. When, when they were there, yeah. have you been? Did I go to a game? Them tickets was kind of, yeah, yeah. Because over a decade, I was how old was I? Yeah, I ain't yeah. Never, yeah. She was too, probably too young. I ain't never been right. to a game. I ain't never watched a game. No. I, I watched one I game watched, first season WNBA. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I, I watched. I watched all four seasons that's coming and that's where you answered my father's comments man you can put the they need to bring that launch brief back we'll get some more <laughs> when i was watching the draft i started saying man i gotta remember these logos i remember saying that in my head because right. i <laughs> like chicago sky that's that logo okay I was, i'm looking at all that so I, I i've i have been one of the people that have not i'm one of the reasons revenue has not been revenued for the wnba and I'm looking forward to super revenue in the WNBA. I'm gonna watch all of it. I might watch y'all 30 for 30. You know, you're, you're behind well, the Well, a lot of men, what was Russell Wilson? Oh yeah, they said support. something about it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah all this stuff. Ramsey yeah. says, says something about it, but it's like, um, unless you drop some of your M's over there, I really don't see how it's gonna change. 
Well, in fairness, the NBA players have Besides, been very supportive of WNBA. They've been very vocal yeah, and supportive. The NBA. And, and, yeah, they sure have. They sure have. They sure have. Grace, any, any final word? Coach said, the, Coach brought it to the women. That's it. Yes. Go That's WNBA. It. Go ladies. Yes. I mean, playoffs are about to be fire. So, you know, we, we listen, next Wednesday is, is going to be epic. <laughs> With our uh, episode, next Wednesday's episode, will be epic. So I'm just looking forward to everything that's going to be happening. Um, and uh, I believe the NFL draft is this weekend, isn't it? I mean, or next, sometime next week, something like that. I can't remember. But it's cool. We'll be covering it. Yeah. We'll be covering it for sure. We'll be covering it for sure. Well, yes, you'll see this. my Seminoles. Remember those names. Trash. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Don't listen to Ebony. Don't listen to Ebony. This has been a wonderful show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We love y'all.